So after listening to Platzoids and Witsit's chat several times, I decided to make Witsit's claims more understandable, as it was all over the place. But first, let's hear why Flatsoid was bringing up magnetics. At some point, incoherent magnetism, slash magnetics, was claimed. The issue here is that the claim has changed many times over the last few years. No wonder people can't keep up, especially with all the infighting and blocking, keeping the conversation lines more or less closed. Why aren't things floating in mid-air, Witsit? Because it's not about magnetism. Wittig claims Earth's downwards electric current sets the up and down, like in Newtonian gravity. The downwards force then creates the normal force which gives rise to the density and buoyancy, or RDD, claim. It's all about the downward electric current setting the up and down, and then the density relationship with the uh, medium will then set that vector relative to the buoyant force, which is intrinsically electrostatic, no, as is force, density, guys. as is mass, as is weight. Everything that is material is electrostatic. That's why Flatsoid claimed global related. He claims everything that is material is electrostatic, as electrostatics holds matter together. Okay, now you can get into whether or not mass exists. In fact, it's just charge. It's just a it's just a concept people have to quantify matter. So we can throw mass out. It doesn't matter. It was just talk about density. In order for an object to have density, then it has to be held together by electrostatics. With its definition of electrostatics is intrinsic vibrational resonance within all matter, the charge that holds all matter together. No, no. We were going to focus on one point at a time. Electrostatics is this You're topic scared. here. What's it? What is your definition of electrostatics? Please go on. The intrinsic vibrational resonance within all matter, the charge that holds together all matter. Which it thinks because there's an electric current on Earth that goes down to the surface, it must create a bias. So if there's a downward electric <laughs> current on the Earth, <laughs> wait, if there's a downward electric current on the Earth, how would that not create a bias? He claims electrostatic is static, current is moving, thus by definition that would be electrostatic acceleration. Electrostatics is static, current is moving. There's a downward electric current on the earth, right? And that everything that goes up or down is intrinsically electrostatic, thus by definition that would be electrostatic acceleration. To clear that up, he means everything is electrostatic and the electric current causes the matter held together by electrostatics to accelerate. Thus, electrostatic acceleration, because it causes objects to accelerate which are held together by electrostatics. Thus, electrostatic acceleration, because the electric current causes objects to accelerate which are held together by electrostatics. Witsit claims dielectric is interchangeable with the word electrostatic. And I'm still waiting for you to define dielectric, <laughs> dielectric acceleration, please. I already did. I told you the word dielectric is interchangeable with the word electrostatics. This is the main point that needs to point. You don't debunk me by strawmanning me. Par diamagnetic materials don't debunk my position. You can go out and physically measure a downward electric current on the Earth. We can have we have naturally occurring observable phenomena. Your hair sticks up during lightning okay. storms. Lightnings discharge from clouds. Clouds are actually electrostatic. That's actually what makes it rain. Okay. We can prove this because you can go shin an electrostatic charge into the cloud and it will begin to rain. Bumblebees can float above flowers and make the pollen levitate up to them. I used a Van der Graaff generator to make iron, steel, uh, hair, styrofoam, rubber, all float when I flipped the polarity between the two Gaussian surfaces um, with the Van der Graaff generator. Sorry, it float. It wouldn't float. It went the opposite pole. It got stuck to the top. It's not floating. No, no. You can make it float in the middle. What Witsit doesn't realize, though, is that a Faraday cage debunks his claim. In more practical terms, that means that a cage constructed of a material that can conduct electricity will prevent certain electromagnetic radiation from passing through. This applies to both constant or static electric fields and changing or non-static electric fields. A Hawaiian hula skirt made of tinsel and he is about to be in a thunderstorm. Um, we are going to make our thunderstorm with our Van de Graaff generator you can think of the belt in the Van de Graaff generator going around like this as analogous to the air circulation underneath the thunderhead as the thunderhead builds up. And then you can think of this up here as the analog of the cloud. So as soon as I unground 
this. It's going to start charging up. And you see Mr. Franklin there getting a little bit uncomfortable. You see his hula skirt streaming out behind him as he is in right now in quite a large electric field. Um, and uh, as you can get a sense there, he's not so happy at this point. Maybe I'll turn it up even higher. There you see, well, I've got a lightning bolt going to my grounding rod. And as you can look at what's happening to Benjamin as the lightning bolt hits the grounding rod. There you go. Benjamin is not happy. So now what we're going to do is we are going to have the same thunderstorm, the same electric field, but we are going to put Benjamin in a Faraday cage. So to put him in the cage, I'm going to start by turning this off and we'll ground him. And here's my Faraday cage right here. I'm going to put Benjamin in the cage. Here we go. Okay. Benjamin's going to be in the same spot that he was before, same tinsel skirt that he has had before, but this time he is in a cage, like for example, if you're in a thunderstorm but you are safely in a car. So let's see whether it is indeed safe. And here we go. Let's turn on the thunder, or the lightning rather. Let's turn on the lightning. Now, if you look, you can see that there's lightning hitting the cage. There's that lightning bolt going from the Van de Graaff right to the cage here. And you can see that the cage has a very considerable electric field on it by looking at the tinsel over here on the far side, which is streaming out behind it just like the tinsel on Benjamin was before. But now look inside at Benjamin in there, and I have to be careful not to touch the cage. But now look inside at Benjamin in there, and his tinsel is completely motionless. Mm -hmm.